<laughs> now, both on screen and off, our first guest has experienced a few really serious life-changing moments. Since joining Holby City, he's gone from healing hearts to breaking them as an unstoppable babe magnet, Dr. Sam Strachan. But has the tide turned for Holby's resident hunk? His girlfriend ran off when he bedded his boss, and now he's finding out just exactly what it's like to be used and abused. But if he did, there's no two ways about it. That's just wrong. What is? Um, Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Something wrong? No, it's just. Uh... Good. I think uh, everyone thinks so highly of me. Look here. It's really none of our business. You're right. But anyway, just to put your minds at rest, it's not actually true, any of it. I've done nothing wrong, so I've got nothing to apologise for. If anyone's got an issue with that, they can take it up with me. To my face, not behind my back. Mm, please welcome Tom Chambers. <laughs> You've got all this labelling saying I'm this hunk, so I'm just checking you're not Brady Carl. I think I might be pregnant. A bit too... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fairly you're sure? Right, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm sure about that. that. Yeah. Very yeah. nice, We nice. are Hello. talking about these life-changing moments, and you have just had an unbelievable one. You were, you were hijacked on a plane. Uh, well, y y yes, yes, woke up to it. I mean, it was a... a what, what happened? It was a long-haul flight. I was going out to see my sister, because she lives in Africa and we were all going out there. I couldn't get on the same flight as the family so uh, I went on a different plane, woke up after five hours and the plane was literally just suddenly just just went straight down and no one knew what was going on so we were kind of thinking what's happening. It was deathly silent as if the engines had gone and stalled. Maybe they're trying to start them again because suddenly banked up and the whole plane was kind of rattling like that. So, gas mask came down and the weirdest thing i don't know if anyone's seen final destination but that thing when people think they're gonna die they they spontaneously start praying out loud and and just grown men screaming it's great when you got some boss who works out at canary wharf and he's got all these airs and graces but he's absolutely screaming his head off i mean it then went down again and i had a window seat and had a spare seat next to me and some german guy and we were both looking at each other and what the hell's going on? And then, and then the ground just coming straight up. Oh my! God. And the plane was like that, and it was. They said it was a few degrees going into the roll of death. I don't think it's. I think they can recover it, but we were four seconds from hitting the ground, basically. Oh, oh good. Gosh. And so a hijacker had sort of gone into the cabin. Or? Yeah, he he. I actually woke up. You know, this weird thing. It's like you, something doesn't feel right. I I woke up and I saw this guy walk past, and his coat done up to the top, and it was boiling in there. And I thought, that was a bit weird, it's, it's, it's hot. And next minute, he just literally went into the cockpit. And the captain, when he came back on, said, he didn't, no messing about, said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but a madman just stormed into the cockpit and tried to crash the plane. <gasps> it's like, oh <laughs> so what were your thoughts? I mean, did, were you thinking, oh, I haven't done this, I haven't done this? How did it change I, do, your Do you know, life? exactly that. I thought, I've, 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 I've got this mission. I've, I'm, I'm sure I've got something to do in life. I, I, I'm... I, there are so many things I want to do, besides the fact I had, if you've seen, I don't know, harping on about films, Big Fish, mm. there's a moment you see someone across the room and you think, I think that might be the person. Well, I had met this girl and I thought, I, I think one day I want to marry that girl. Oh, and I told my oh. mum... Uh, Did you tell her that? I told, well, she said, oh. you better tell her, otherwise she'll get on a train, she'll never know, and, and that'll be it. And so I did tell her the next day. And anyway, it was a while after this, got Seven on the plane. Years. It has been, but uh, 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 on the plane, <laughs> we'll get to that, but on the plane, I just thought, this can't be happening, this cannot be happening, I've, I've just, just I'm, met I'm, I'm, I want to marry and this girl. It was, it and have you married her? Yeah, you see. I'm getting, getting round to it. Getting I'm getting round to it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so what about Holby? Tell us, he's a bit of a one, isn't he? He's, yes. Well, I guess he seems to be in a bit of trouble, but it, it, it's all supposed to be with good intentions. He. He enjoys the high life, he, he kind of goes out on a limb, he's a bit of a, a, 
a rule bender. He's a party animal, isn't he? Really. He does. He likes. Um, he yeah. likes. He likes to have a good. A good he likes time. to have a good time. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. He, yeah. Yeah. But he's getting well, his he's come not up hurting anybody. Be honest about it, and then hopefully it's okay. <laughs> he's getting a bit of a comeuppance, though, isn't he? With the he's, he's got <clears throat> the woman he's got pregnant. Well, but he didn't uh, know, did he? Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh. Um, yeah. They all say that. Don't they? I hope you're not like this in real life. No, I'm absolutely. I'm as monogamous as as, as you get now. Aww. I mean, now, now you've. I've do you get sort of? Do you get people who are a bit confused as to you know that yes, you are actually just an actor who's playing a character? Do you get people you know irate la old ladies with umbrellas coming up to you in the street and? My auntie phones up and says, uh, "How's Sam?" Uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, it's Tom, actually. It's not so. So you do get, and it's quite scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But also the other is how um, we're not allowed to do any any uh, opening of uh, uh, an NHS branch, anything that's opening that's new, because the the public they they say that they can't distinguish between uh, oh, fiction yes. and reality. They'd want you to deliver a baby, wouldn't they, if you went in well, there? Well, I I feel like I might myself you might at want times. To, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were I mean, told me when you were on the plane, wasn't it? Experience, I know. Because they always say, shocker. is there a doctor on the plane? I know, that's why. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> afterwards. What's, uh, what's next for you and Dr. Sam? Uh, I, th I think that uh, more trouble at the mill. There's a lot of fireworks going off with, with Connie Beecham and then there's Chrissy, and it, there's a bit of a triangle going on, and he's, I think he's basically on the fence and he's stuck in a bit of a rut, but it, the, the baby is on its way, and, and there's obviously a lot of friction. She won't let him see the baby, and, which does happen in real life. It, it does. Yeah. You've got Apparently, to start climbing up houses of parliament, haven't you? Very high profile, <laughs> that, and that was one of the lines. It was. Um, what are you going to do? Dress up in a Batman suit and, and get, get on, up there. On, on, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on tonight, isn't it? Hobby City on tonight. It is, it is. It's a, it's a biggie tonight. We look forward to it. One. And you, yeah. can come to, you can come to our place for dinner anytime. Your stories yes. are ever so good, oh, aren't they? Tom like Chambers! <laughs> Times happier. Yes, we're giving away five thousand pounds. Just get your thinking gear around this question, and you're in with a shot. <laughs> the Fowlers, the Mitchells, and the Brannings are families in which soap? Is it A. Home and Away, B. EastEnders, or